I finally made it to the end of the year, which encapsulates my last moments in college and my first moments on my own. I haven't really been on my own because I've had a wonderful support system in my friends, my roommate, my boyfriend, my boyfriend's family, and my own family. They made the transition out of college so much smoother for me than it could have been, and I have a lot to thank them for. And I thank God, too, for the people that surround me and make my life so rich and full. This visual diary holds the events of the last two months of 2021. The beauty I found in the fall season, the art and nature that filled my creative reservoir, the projects I took on and late nights I spent to see them through, the holiday season and all the joyful moments and quiet moments that composed its best parts, and most of all, the people I owe my greatest happiness to. We begin on a cloudy day in an art gallery. I also love the fact that I don't have to focus this. It's nice, yeah. The Femme Vitale show in Wavelength Space was a celebration of feminine experience and showcased a wide variety of art mediums and creativity. And I left feeling very inspired and promptly drove to the next art show in town, which was at Stoveworks. There's an owl, like, watching you. We are here today visiting Raccoon Mountain in Chattanooga, Tennessee because the fall colors are really pretty right now and we wanted to take advantage of them before they go away. I do wish it was a bit sunnier today, yeah. but that's okay. We, we work with what we got. So uh, we got hot chocolate. And Panda Express. And Panda Express. You don't need help. Yes. Thank you. All you gotta do is put your foot on this thing down here. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is so... You're way far up. You're way too far up. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're almost there. You're like half a foot away. Maybe more like a whole foot. Keep going. No, why are you putting? Why are you putting? <laughs> okay, I'm helping you. All right. <laughs> the first big project of November was to prepare for a night market and the launch of my memorialized shirts. With Delano's help, I screen printed each one of these shirts, somewhere around 15 thrifted shirts and about 60 to 70 Gildan t-shirts. And now, again with his help, the next step was to take photos of the shirts for advertising.
In addition to the shirts, I also released my first ever zine, which was also a part of the Memorialize series. I took some references that I used for the paintings in this series, printed them out, and then used acetone to transfer the picture onto the zine. Then I used rub-on letters for most of the text. I made copies on white, green, blue, and red paper, and Delano helped me bind them all. Then it was back to the shirts, and because I wanted this line of shirts to be extra special, I made my own tags using transfer paper, ribbon, and an iron. It's the day before night market, so it's Friday, night market is tomorrow night, and I am on my way to help Delano um, and his friend Finn print some shirts for their band's booth at night market. And then I will be doing lots of my own stuff today as well to prepare for tomorrow night. That's sick. And then black. It's Man. time! Oh, that's sick though. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, the black is not gonna work. Cool. Yeah. It's almost there. It's really but it cool. is. Yeah. You could also do, what about magenta and black? Okay, back home and now it is time to finish up my preparation for night market. So I got a lot of shirt tags done last night. I got like 40 finished, I believe, um, which is probably enough, but I want to make sure that I have um, enough options for people, like, because I have two designs and then I have two colors of shirts mostly, um, the black and the white, and then I have a bunch of thrifted shirts, but I'm not worrying about tags for those because that's just too much. But for the black and the white shirts and the two different designs, I want to make sure I have enough in each size to give people good options at night market. Um, so I'm going to check through that and see if I need to do any more tags today. Then I'm going to go through all the stuff that I have from previous night markets, like setup and decorations and stuff, and make sure my whole table will be ready to set up gonna look through my stock and find containers to put things in and all that will happen this afternoon so I'm gonna be rushing a little bit but we'll get it done we're at night market Yay! I'm so excited gotta unload all of this stuff bring it over there <laughs> Venmo, <laughs> PayPal, PayPal, and then email, email with tax on PayPal though. Yeah. This was my last time participating as a seller at this specific night market, and it went by in a blur as it always does.
Night Market was a little disappointing for me in terms of sales this year. I prepared my stock of shirts and other items based on how they sold in previous years, but the demand wasn't high this time. I left the night with almost as much as I had brought in to sell, and so it was definitely disappointing, but things like this are bound to happen. You live and you learn. I moved on to the next step in my memorialized product launch, which was marketing to my online social platforms. This involved another photo shoot and a video shoot as well, as I tried to best communicate the story and meaning behind the series and the products that come out of it. I've periodically felt torn between the art world and the commercial world. There are a lot of arguments for and against selling art and turning it into a consumer product. But doing so is what gets it into the hands of those who share this love for art. And whether it be an original piece or a sticker, art means something to people. And sharing my art with those who find meaning in it is a privilege I do not take lightly. And in turn, those who find enough connection and beauty in my art to buy it provide a way for me to continue creating. The next part in the process of creating and selling art, of course, is mailing it. And today began with a trip to the post office to do just that. The post office I went to this time was in a tiny little country town, and so we stuck around a little while afterwards to explore. Eggnog. Eggnog. My favorite part of November and December is without a doubt the holiday season, and it begins with a trip home for Thanksgiving week. I had a great little vacation, soaking in family time and downtime, but I chose to put the camera away for most of these interactions and gave myself some real time to relax. I did, however, bring it out for some Black Friday shopping with Everything my sister. Everything looks good in it. Everything? Yes, this trash can looks beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we caved. We caved. <laughs> Black Friday doesn't just mean shopping for me. As a small business owner, it also means selling. And once I got back home, I got back to work and packaged the Black Friday orders I received as the days moved into December. It's nine in the city, and I'm on my way back home. Coming on my favorite ditty, swinging like Natalie Cole. But then out of the blue, who's 
I did that. In my life, Saturdays are days for worshiping with my community and enjoying the company of family and friends. It's always a day to reset and get ready to work hard the next week. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Looks like the endings to an 80s movie. <laughs> They're fence, the fence is our property, dude. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. Lane! Heyo! Let's show how Almost! You almost had it! One doesn't have funding. One does. Spider-Man! <laughs> this week was exciting because it was the first time that my art was part of a curated show that would last for about a month. Many of my vlogs have featured wavelength space, and in fact, this one started out with a trip there. This time, however, I got to be one of the artists whose work was hanging on the walls. It was such an honor to be a part of such a fun show. The title and theme was Tiny Things, and all the work that was part of it was only 8 inches or less in size. My 4-inch memorialized paintings were a perfect fit here and I loved getting to explore the tiny work of other artists. My favorite part of the show was a miniature replica of the gallery itself, with several more pieces of tiny art inside. The work inside the tiny gallery made the small work itself look big, so it was an interesting juxtaposition or a kind of optical illusion to witness. I just realized that. I've continued painting in my visual dream journal, although I have slowed down quite a bit. I go through phases where I dream every night, and then I go through phases where I don't dream at all. And on top of that, sometimes I don't remember my dream, or sometimes I don't have time to paint a picture of it. But I still use this sketchbook occasionally, and when a dream really catches my attention, I definitely make sure I put it in there. It started on a peaceful grassy hill. Nothing but wind and blue sky on the horizon. A low rumbling sound emerges in the distance, slowly getting louder, and the tall grass and shrubs on the right side of the hill begin to rustle. But they aren't rustling because of the wind or the rumble. The still, bent over mass of greenery begins to rise in one direction, lifting up and to the right, and soon enough, a system of wooden beams can be seen moving the grass and revealing wooden train tracks where the green mound had once been. The rumbling has been growing louder, finally emerging from abstraction into a sound that is recognizable. It's a train. And just as the beams finish making their slow ascent, an old creaking train rushes by on the newly uncovered tracks. Behind it, each individual beam begins to return to its previous position, hiding the track once again, one section at a time. A wave of grass shifting and covering in the wake of the train. The train leads to a much blurrier part of the dream, a futuristic landscape with colors and lights and billboards and attractions and roads and tracks with no support climbing higher and higher into the sky. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing 
know the plains and the mountains in reply echo in the joyous dreams as with most years i did a lot of painting for my christmas presents this year from left to right these pieces are for my aunt my dad and a white elephant gift for my family's upcoming celebration these small paintings made the perfect gifts this year, and not only did I do these and more for my family, I also made several for other people who commissioned them as gifts for their loved ones. Like, I thought it looked really cool. Oh, so, wow. yeah, if you guys want to trade them with each other, like, go ahead if you like another one better. Um, but that's the technically that's, good one. Okay, and this one's. Oh, no! Nah, I want the oranges. Yeah. Awesome. Right. And what I want us to do. Can, can we all, like, sign the backs of them? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it was just whatever it was on my camera. Yeah. Is that this is, is that what every amazing? Night? The corners of life. <laughs> selfie guy. Oh, yeah. I'm always in the corner. I'm just gonna just candy and stuff in the in the stocking. All right, yeah, cool. All right. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. 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 Merry Christmas. You're welcome. Great. I like Yours looks like a heart. It's Yours so also looks like a heart. Kind yeah, of. it does. It's a triangle. Cute. Guys, are, it's like makeup mermaid kind of. Oh. <laughs> Film. It's an album! What is it? It's a Star Trek album! Oh my god! <laughs> I saw it and I'm like, I have to get this for her. Oh my gosh, it's the original perfect. Star Trek! <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. But he's <gasps> crying. Yeah! Sorry. <laughs> he got me some blues album! Oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Steal it. Yeah. Okay, make sure we're all in the chat, Lena. Like, how can I? And just make sure, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Dang it. I don't want to fly the flash. flash. Where are we looking? Middle? Yeah. yeah. Middle. Yeah. yeah I'm really glad you said that because I was going to. Yeah, I was, I was looking at them. I was looking at them. I know, I know. Wait, I wrote it at the girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The second half of my December was spent at home with my family, punctuated by Christmas lights and hot chocolate, more Christmas gift painting, more celebrations, more good food, and best of all, being close to my loved ones. Creator, you could have left us on our own, but you're here. 
COVID snuck up on us again with the newest version of the virus and ended yeah. my trip home a bit earlier than I had planned, but not until I had thoroughly enjoyed the holiday with my family. My boyfriend and I traveled back and quarantined in my house. It was actually a good way to slow down after the busy holidays, and I ended up being grateful for that time. <coughs> we were sick, or should I say contaminated, through the new year, but his family still came over to help us celebrate, even with a glass door between us. <laughs> (laughs) and so that was the end of my 2021 I just put my freaking ba- brush oh, in no. my tea. Oh no. <laughs> I have to get a new cup of tea. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's never actually fully happened before. I, I wondered, I was about to ask. <laughs>